correction. And today is August 19th. Stand by while we get everything in place. And as I said, today is August 19th of 2022. Airwire Financial is my firm. Our motto is plans with direction. A few important disclosures to start the, start the uh, day off. The opinions voiced in this material are for general information only and not intended to provide specific advice or recommendations for any individual. All performance referenced is historical and no guarantee of future results. All the data herein is believed to be from reliable sources. However, there's no representation that's made to us as to its completeness or accuracy. None of this should be construed as tax or legal advice. I am neither an attorney nor an accountant. Consult your advisor prior to taking any action. Okay, last night's numbers. The Dow closed just less than a point shy of 34,000. And year to date, it's down 6.44%. The S&P 500 closed at 4283.74. Year to date, it's down over 10%. The NASDAQ 100 closed at 1350599. Year to date, it's down a little bit more than 18.5%. Gold is at $1,759.66 per ounce. It's down almost 3.8%. Bitcoin, now if you're a Bitcoin owner, hang on to your hats because it is at 23,411.77, that's the index. And year to date, it's down over 50%. Ouch. US dollar index, as of last night, it closed at 107. 0.96 year to date, it's up 13.85%. 10 year treasury closed last night at 2.98%, almost a double from its beginning of the year at 1.51%. And the SP aggregate bond index, and I don't mean gravel and the like, uh, closed at 202.74. Year to date, it is down 8.6%. So today we're gonna to talk about Medicare, the basics. Medicare was a program instituted in the 1960s. It's primarily for those age 65 and older. There are other groups such as people collecting social security who are disabled, who may have access to Medicare, but we're not gonna focus on that because the bulk of the folks that wanna know about Medicare are the folks that uh, are 65 and older. And I will warn you, in this presentation, there will be a lot of generalization and a lot of omitted detail. That's why it's important to consult somebody who is an expert on this, like me. The major parts of Medicare are parts A as in Apple, B as in Bravo, C as in Charlie, D as in Delta. Okay, Medicare Part A. Usually, there is no cost for this part. Now, there are exceptions, but the vast majority of folks out there will not have to pay extra. It helps cover hospitalization, skilled nursing, nurse, uh, home health care, and hospice. When I say skilled nursing, I do not mean long-term care. This, uh, all of this, all of Medicare covers is rehabilitative care. It does not cover custodial care. There is a deductible for the first 60 days of a hospital say in any given benefit period. Here in 2022, the current deductible is $1,556 for the first 60 days in any benefit period. You stay past 60 days in a benefit period, days 61 through 90, there's a per day fee. If you stay past 90 days in a benefit period, then what will happen is you'll start eating up a bank of 60 lifetime days that everybody gets when they sign up for Medicare. Once those 60 days are gone, anytime you're there in the hospital past day 90, 
each day is totally on you. There is no maximum out of pocket. Now, just for folks who don't know what I mean when I say max out of pocket means the maximum amount of money that will come out of your pocket. In other words, there is no limit to what Medicare expects you to pay for uh, hospitalization if all you have is Medicare Part A. And uh, we haven't even talked about uh, doctors. So just remember Medicare Part A is hospitalization. A few other things, but that's an easy way to remember. Part B, as in Bravo, is the doctor in part of it. The base price. Now notice I say base price for Medicare Part B is $170.10 a month. There are things that could cause this to be more, and they do happen. I'll talk about that more a little bit later. Okay, when you sign up for this, each calendar year, you have a deductible. In other words, the first uh, amount of bills that uh, you get from your doctor, now you've got to pay the first $233. By the way, these numbers I'm giving you are for 2022. So if you're watching this video and it's some later year, uh, I bet large sums of money that the numbers will be higher. I could be wrong, but it's unlikely. After you've paid that $233 worth of doctor bills, Medicare kicks in. They will pay 80%. So that means if you go to the doctor and his bill's $100 after you've paid the deductible, you pay 20 bucks, Medicare pays $80. If it's $1,000, you pay 200, Medicare pays 800. Again, it's more complicated than this. This is just to paint a picture so you can get a general understanding. <clears throat> Medicare Part B costs covers doctor and other related costs. Like Part A, there is no maximum out-of-pocket cost for the recipient, and there are penalties for late enrollment. I will talk about this later. It'll be on the page called there will, this will be on the quiz later. And there are also surcharges for individuals with higher incomes. If you've got higher income, you can expect to pay more than the $170.10 base price. Medicare Part D. Now, before we get too far down this, a lot of people say, Steve, what happened to C? C is Medicare Advantage. We won't be talking extensively about this, in this session, I'm saving that for next week. Medicare Part D, the cost varies by plan. Recipients have the potential to go through four different phases each year. Initially, when they first start buying their prescription drugs at the drugstore or through the mail, there's a deductible phase where all costs are on you. And then after you get through the deductible phase, you're in what's called initial coverage which you either pay a flat dollar amount, depending on the tier, I'll explain that in a minute, or you could pay a percentage, depends on which plan you sign up for. Now, let's talk about tiers real quick. They've divided drugs up into five different tiers usually. Basically, the way to remember it is the lower the number, the lower the price, generally speaking. Tier one drugs are the cheapest. Tier fives are the most expensive. Okay, once you get through the coverage, the initial coverage phase, you will end up in something called the coverage gap. And in years past, it was called the donut hole. And then after that, you get into catastrophic coverage. Now, depending on what meds you take, you may not make it past the initial coverage phase. If you've got a bunch of cheap drugs, you may not even make it out of the deductible phase. I don't know. No guarantee. Lots of people still do make it into the coverage gap and there are some that make it into catastrophic. I have no idea what the percentages are. Now, like with part B as in Bravo, if you enroll late, and I'll talk about this later, there is a penalty. And there are surcharges for individuals with higher income. So. If you make lots of money in retirement, expect to pay more for parts B and D. And if I'm wrong, you won't be too unhappy about it. And just like part B and A, there's no max out of pocket cost for the recipient. Okay, these are the parts that'll be on the quiz later. So pay attention to this. If you're seeing this video that hopefully will show up on my YouTube in not too long a time, 
then you can go back to this part of the uh, presentation, copy them down. Now, think about what month you were born. Well, there's a seven month window around that birth month. I'll give you a, for instance, if your birthday is in September, this seven month period runs three months back, which is August, July, and June. So the beginning of the seven months is June 1st. And then it goes three months past September, goes October, November, December. So if you're a September baby, then your seven month initial enrollment period runs from June 1st to December 31st. If you've got an April birthday, it runs from January 1st to July 31st. You can figure it out depending on your birth month. Key thing is the year you turn 65, so you need to start looking at this by the time you turn 64 to figure out when your months are because if you miss signing up for parts B is in Bravo and D is in Delta, there are penalties. With Part B, there is a 10% per year penalty. So that $170.10, if you forgot and enrolled a year late, then you end up paying $17 extra and so on and so forth. You do the math. Now, Part B is a little bit different. Part B is 1% per month. So key thing is, when you're coming up on this seven month period, figure out or get somebody like me to help you figure out what you need to do. Even if you say, Steve, I've got a job, I'm still working, I'm happy with it. Please check with somebody like me, help us figure, help you figure out if there's anything you've got to do. At the very least, you probably need to sign up for part A, but since most of the time nobody's paying anything for that, that's probably not a big deal. Check, better safe than sorry. Okay, are you confused yet? If so, that's perfectly normal. What to do? Contact an independent licensed agent. There is no cost for the consultation. Licensed agent may help you avoid really expensive mistakes. At the very least, when you're making your decisions, you come away making an informed decision. Okay, next week we're gonna talk about how to deal with the maximum out-of-pocket problem. This is mostly parts A and B because Medicare Part D, there's very few ways, if any, that I know of that you can uh, get rid of the max out-of-pocket for prescription drugs. But A and B, we can definitely there are ways to do it, but they're a little bit tricky. And since there's no cost to talk to a licensed agent about it, there's no reason not to have them help you avoid and understand which part or which plan works for you. I'll talk about the differences between Medicare supplements and Medicare Advantage plans. They are not the same thing and they should not be combined. It is a big mistake to combine them. And I will talk about the pluses and minuses of both types of plans. Now, do you need to get a hold of me? Go to herwirefinancial.com. This is a screenshot of the top of my website. If you look, you'll see in the upper right-hand corner, big blue button that says schedule an appointment. You can click in there to schedule an appointment. I do Zoom. I do in person, I do phone appointments. And sometimes I'll even come out and see you depending on where you are. And if your friends want more information, you can, you or your friends, you can follow me on Facebook, LinkedIn, or Twitter. The other thing I'll call your attention to is the button that's in between the LinkedIn and the Facebook buttons. It's that red button with looks like a play button. That is my YouTube channel. This uh, uh, video will eventually show up there if you want to rewind it and hear my melodious voice again. Key thing is, when you're coming up on age 65, you need to consult with somebody like me. I am licensed in several states. You can call me no matter what state you're in. And if there's sufficient interest, I can easily get licensed in your state. 
And here's my contact information. You can reach me on the internet. You can call my phone, 518-631-2569. Go to my website, herwirefinancial.com. And remember next week, we're gonna talk about how to avoid or mitigate the out-of-pocket costs for once you sign up for Medicare. Have a terrific day and may God bless you all.